Welcome again to Feyen CNC TV. We have a two versus two on this well-known map called End of the Line. We have two versus two. It's Matthew. And let's take a look. We have the Vanilla Nod, Matthew. So his ally on the right side, also a Vanilla Nod. He has Daniel. Everyone is beaconing. Matthew's beaconing because he knows this map very well. All right, we have our yellow players. Take a quick look. We have the vanilla GDI player, Vice. And on the other side, across of Vice, we have Jimmy playing the Zocom. So Matthew going quick with Rifleman. Wants to get that spot over here because he wants to take this Tiberium Spike. So today is a living room, a living room commentary. So you're gonna hear life in the background. Ooh, Jimmy is quick, or no, Vice is quick. Quick to that bunker, Vice. So Vice beats Matthew, taking the bunker. Vice can start peppering these militant squads. Matthew has to jump in here quick. There he is, Matthew's gonna jump quick. There he is, but he's losing half of his militants. He does make it, he does make it. Look at that one, just falling and dying. All right, so, Vice running quick, but Daniel has already taken this one over here. This is a small map, so these players, it is a matter of build speed. You gotta build quickly. See if I get everyone correctly. Okay, yeah. Bikes coming out for Matthew. Second heart, um, second refinery coming out for Matthew. Building it. Vice, rocket squads for Vice. He has taken his tip spike over here. Let's see. Oh, Jimmy has to already start building. You have to start building your refinery. You can't afford this. Okay, see? Because he was pausing for a couple of seconds. You, you need to keep on building. And he needs to make something here. He needs to make a harvester. There it is. These couple of seconds. You see, that's two or three seconds. I noticed that. Two, three seconds. Idle. You can't afford those seconds, especially on this map. Whoa! That's Jimmy coming in with his trademark. Rifleman squads popping down a foxhole. Now he should just pepper this. Shoot this, Jimmy. He has to shoot this hand of Nod because you're here anyway, so you might as well. Okay, so he decides to go for the refinery. Now he switches over to the hand of Nod. It's better if he started at the hand of Nod because you, you can kill it quicker, see? Keep on going. Why? Keep on going. Keep on putting that pressure over there. Let's see what Vice is doing. No second refinery yet. Where is that second refinery of everyone? Daniel usually drops his war factory right close to his refinery. So he is open over here for a harvester rush. But Jimmy doesn't usually harvest a rush. It would be nice to see it though. Alright. So Shredder turret popped on for Matthew. Gonna try and flush the infantry from the foxhole. Look at that. See? He's doing so much damage over here. I wanna wonder what he's gonna send out. Okay, rocket soldiers. Gonna send rocket soldiers out. He forgot to turn back the power on over here. He needs to turn out turn on the power because his his harvests are waiting on each other over here. So there is a second one already out for Matthew. Second one out for Vice, second one out for Jimmy. No second one out yet for Daniel. Daniel's a bit slower. He is coming out with bikes, Daniel. Where were those other bikes? I missed those other bikes. See, there's no units being made. Always make units. Always make units. Oh, 
Oh, this is very late. This is very late. No, he forgot. Daniel forgot to take the tip spike. Look, this engineer is idle. Oh, Daniel forgot to take the tip spike. That's too bad. He's just standing here. It's too bad, Daniel. More bikes coming out for Matthew. On this map, you really, really need to build quick. You have to just make... You have to drop down a second war factory. Pump out tanks. Because your opponent is just... So... So close. It's close to you. And Matthew... Okay, Matthew wants this Tiberium Spike. He's sending tanks over here already. No upgrades yet. It's still early game. He's gonna force Vice out of this bunker. What Vice has to do is come out of this bunker as soon as it's low health. And go into this bunker. Or go into this structure. Okay, Daniel. Seeing the foxhole. Does Daniel have any ground units? No, he only has one bike. That's it. Let's see if there's any... No rush. No rushes. Nope. Matthew's still making the attack bikes. Five attack bikes. He can already go. He should already go. He's wasting time. He has to go. Where's the airfield? No airfield for Jimmy yet. No units made for Vice. Vice needs to make ground units. He is on tier two. Ooh. Okay, the ground units that he had he sent over here. Ooh, he sent Matthew away. Scared Matthew off. It's good advice. Because Matthew only had, I think he only had one scorpion tank and a buggy, I think. Okay, smart of Matthew. Smart to you to make a flame tank. The thing is, he still can come over here with us the flame tank he has to go with the flame tank now he has to go around look he has to go over here over here and sneak into the back of the base with that flame tank Vice is already moving forward Matthew's also moving forward let's see what Daniel's doing nope Daniel's not moving for oh this is a bad placement of the refinery the refinery should have been placed here it should have been placed closer to the tib so far away airfield coming down for Jimmy now there it is. No tier 3 for anyone yet. Okay, Vice going for the Predator tanks now. No tier 3 yet. But let me see. Let's count the harvesters real quick. Five. Five to two. That's good. Five to two is good. One. Two. Two? Only two harvesters? Oh, Jimmy really needs more harvesters. Needs more harvesters. He only has two. He needs more. All right. So Daniel going to try to push Jimmy off of this middle section. Okay, both of our players on the south are going with bikes now. Matthew's already starting to harvest in the middle. Matthew's over here with his bikes. Let's see where they are. They're coming together. Mm, I don't know. They should have split up. I think they should have split up. They're coming together now and they're gonna go straight for the watchtower. They're seen. They're seen. Okay, Daniel comes over here, but look, look, look. He gets bottlenecked. He gets bottlenecked. He loses them all. I. Nope, loses them all. But he was able to take down one Harvester. It's not bad. Let's take a look and see where... Okay, three more went through for Matthew. They're gonna go for Jimmy's last Harvester. Full, fully loaded, fully loaded. But Jimmy's fighting. Jimmy's not gonna take this sitting down. No, Matthew! Oh, he's shooting the Hammerhead instead of going for the Rocket Harvester. Ah, that's too bad. He went for the hammerhead instead of the rocket harvester. They, he might have killed it if he moved to this side. And he might have killed it. So they lost a lot. Oh, they lost a lot of money with those, um, with those bikes. Now we need to upgrade these scorpion tanks quick. They're vanilla nods, so they can get those laser capacitors. They have to do that quickly now. Quickly now. No tier 2 yet. So... No dozer blades, no tier three. Oh 
Okay. So Matthew did move already to the middle. What he needs to do is start. Drop down a war factory over here. He needs war factory. Look, Vice is making massive units smart of Vice. Oh, I, I missed this over here. Vice is building a stronghold over here. Man, that's quick. Vice is building very quickly. But Jimmy did take a blow over here. He lost one harvester. He needs to make another one. And he needs to make another one. There's still no harvester coming out for Jimmy. Let's see what he's doing. Heavy gunship airborne. Okay. He's making a harvester. He's making a harvester. Alright. Okay, a lot of rocket soldiers on the field for Daniel. Looks like Daniel is going infantry. He's going all infantry. Daniel should already move towards this area. He should have moved here a long time ago. Because this is good what Feist is doing. Feist has these two tip fields. He's holding it. He's holding these two tip fields. Look at it. He's already got a refinery over here and a refinery over here. Feist has a very, very good position. Very balanced army. He needs to... He needs to put his army right here. Right here on the ledge. On the ledge. So then at least he'll have the advantage of high ground. Okay, Matthew has put some tanks in the middle. Buggies. No upgrades yet. Matthew really needs to go quick. To tier 3. Tier 3 upgrades. You need those laser capacitors. Let me see. Matthew has money. Let's take a quick look and see what he's doing. Disruption tower. Matthew wants to be invisible. But ah, on this map, invisibility doesn't really count for much because it's so small what you need is you gotta pump out units on this map because your opponent can reach your base in three seconds especially jimmy he can reach that in two seconds with his hammerheads but not many hammerheads out for jimmy yet because he just has one harvester he needs more no two harvesters he needs more you need to just make five now five harvesters because Feist is already on his second and his third field. Jimmy's still on his first field. Okay, Daniel is already harvesting in the middle now. Daniel's got one refinery over here. Daniel should have made this refinery on this side. He should have made it on this side. It's easier to defend. He should have made it over here because it's just easier to defend. Because if this gets attacked, then it just takes too long until your units come from here, from your production factories, to defend it over here. But if you make a refinery over here, it's closer. It's easier to defend. His con yards here now. Okay, Vice is just amassing his his army. Looks like Vice might want to attack now. Let's see. Real guns, no real guns yet. Buggies going out for Matthew, just scouting. The way to go here is just mass scorpion tanks. Mass scorpion tanks. Is it uh, the Bitterballer? Okay. Is it Kid Burgers? Nah, the most is actually man in my Vice has too many harvests on this field. He needs to make one more refinery over here. Look at that. Look, he needs to send a couple of these harvesters to unload over here. But Vice is just swimming in money. Vice is swimming in money. Jimmy's, Jimmy's still on two harvesters. Jimmy's still on two harvesters. He need more. Let's just count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 No, Jimmy does have more. Jimmy has more. Harvest is Jimmy has four, I think. All right, here we go. Finally, more scorpion tanks. Where's that tier three? I need to come and hurry up and make that tier three. Because the scorpion tanks without the laser capacitors are uh, just a bit handicapped. 
Matthew does have a lot of flame tanks, but he needs to use them already. He needs to use these flame tanks. Because the longer you wait with your flame tanks, the way is going to be shut. Look at this, Vice is already holding on here. This is all Matthew has. Just these five tanks. Oh man, I thought he would really make more. You need more tanks on the field. Yeah. So Matthew can't see this. There we go. Vice is coming. Heavy tier one army. This is already good enough. There it is. Okay, so Matthew now sees Vice is coming. Matthew's got shadow teams, but eyes on the field. Nope. Okay, he's gonna do the D move now. As soon as he sees all the units, he's gonna use the D move. He's gonna go back. Good move from Matthew to drop down the magnetic mines. He should have dropped it here, though. He dropped it here. Now he has to hold off his units. Stay on the ridge. Stay on the ridge. His flame tank's coming to join the fight. See? There's no laser capacitors. Oh, look at this. This is just massive. This is like Sparta. This is Sparta holding. Holding this small area over here. But, nope. Ice is broken through. One flame tank. Is it gonna shoot? Come on, shoot. Look at this. Vice just climbing. There's not much left to stop him. Flame tanks, there's only two of them left with one scorpion tank. Let's just turn it back to normal. Okay, Vice is already here. Okay, so Matthew is seeing all of this. I, and I think he's feeling sorry that he didn't make more scorpion tanks. We need those scorpion tanks to stop this. Look at this. Mass, mass, at, mass attack. No attack yet from Jimmy. No help from Daniel. Okay, now Daniel's coming. It's very late. It's very late now, though. But what Matthew needed to do was, as soon as Vice came, Matthew already should have started beaconing. And Matthew needed to pull back all the way in his base and waited until Daniel was here. Daniel's here now. Okay, let's just watch it from this side. Oh, look at it. But Daniel's units are being slaughtered because of the riflemen. Or because of the rocket squads. It's, it's, it's mostly because of the rifle squads. It's because he doesn't have any anti-infantry. No anti-infantry for Daniel. He's also losing his... Um, his harvesters. Ooh, Vice just rampaging through this base. Look at this. Rampaging through the base. Okay, Jimmy's now here. Covering the skies. Five choppers. But the choppers might be enough. Okay, Obelisk's coming down for Daniel. But Matthew's losing everything. Don't know if they can come back from this. Ooh. Vice just punched a big hole right in Matthew's defense. And his, his entire base. This is what the tier 1 units of GDI can do. So destructive if you come in with a balanced force. Yeah, it's, it's hard to beat this very very hard to beat this Daniel doing what he can just dropping the obelisks of light this is the only thing that you can do and now it's time for Jimmy where are your choppers Jimmy okay Jimmy's over here His choppers being shot out of the sky by the venoms though Vice is the one pushing from the ground. He should have a second army ready. Where's your army? Oh, he should have had a second army ready, Vice. Because once your first army is beaten, you already should have a second wave. That's what he'll still need to learn. 
that when your first army is attacking you have to already gather up a second army so that you can just keep the momentum and keep on attacking. There's even no railgun upgrades. He should have also upgraded to railguns because he has the tier 3. But really, really powerful push from... Uh, from Vice, he's not done yet. He's still here. He's still here, but he needs to upgrade the real guns. And in a small map like this, all you need to do is just make juggernauts. Because your juggernauts are 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 so close. They just have to walk a little bit and start peppering your opponent already. The Venoms are doing a, doing a good job here from Daniel. Daniel destroying the Venoms or destroying the Predator tanks. He's making Vice run. Matthew, man, just survived. Matthew survived with two refineries. What kind of a placement is this? <laughs> two refineries. That's it. That's it. Tier 2. He doesn't have any production structures anymore. It's up to Daniel. Daniel's going all Venoms. At least he has the laser capacitors. Still has money coming in over here. Oh no, here we go. Matthew still has his MCV, was alive. So he crept his MCV away during the battle. And going to try to hold this Tiberium field. He still has a lot here. There's there's still a lot of money here. Where are the slingshots? Where's the answer? Where is the answer? Okay, Vice is not. Vice or Jimmy or no, it's Jimmy. Jimmy should answer this. Look, he has a pit bull over here. Where are your slingshots? No slingshots yet from Jimmy. If this happens, then he should just beacon. There it is. So Vice is coming with his slingshot. It's scaring away all the venoms. I think Vice is low on cash. Unit under attack. No, he's not. Let's see what he's making. Slingshots. Training. He's making hammerheads. Let's see what Building. Daniel is making. Another refinery and venoms. So Daniel's going all venom. Okay, Matthew's rebuilding slowly. Okay, Jimmy's got the two airfields with the two hammerheads or the three hammerheads. Ooh, he didn't make AP ammo. Jimmy forgot to research AP ammo. Ooh, there it is. He's researching it now. Should have did this already a long time ago. Forgot that. Oh, well, that can happen. Vice can already attack with this force. There isn't a ground force anymore. Then you should just send these rocket soldiers. You put them here or you put them here. But you need to put them in the front line. Ooh, so Daniel takes out all of Jimmy's choppers. He's got he's got the venoms. Doing good work with these venoms, but So he took out I think one harvester over here. Where is he? Where are those venoms? Okay. If I were him, I would start repairing those venoms and then going for a second run. But they need a ground army. They really need a ground army. Vice is slow in rebuilding that army. All he needs is two behemoth. You just need two behemoth. And just protect it with APCs and slingshots. That's it. And you win this game. You just walk with the behemoths over here and you win the game. Three behemoths would be good. See, at a certain point, there's no more money in this, uh, in this map. So if I just forgot to relocate his harvesters to take this Tiberium over here. Because they're still just digging here and here. I think Jimmy's money is running out. Let's take a look. 
Yep. And this money's running out. We've got the rockets. Let's see what Matthew's doing. Does he have any production structures? Okay, Matthew's also going for venoms. Drops down the disruption tower in the hopes that nobody sees him. Matthew scouting. Ooh, he does have one heroic venom. He has heroic venom. You can still use that. Vice was hunting him though. Vice was hunting him with his slingshots. It's over here. Okay, Daniel's here again. Wow, look at that. Look how quickly they kill infantry. Daniel's here again. He can keep going. You can keep going. Ooh. Loses a Venom. You can keep going. They're just three APCs, though. They don't even have AP ammo. Oh. What happened to your AP ammo? Oh, Jimmy still doesn't have AP ammo. He does have support powers. Support powers. Ion cannon for Vice. <laughs> Man, I, I didn't expect to see an ion cannon on such a small map. Instead of the Ion Cannon, you could have also just made three Juggernauts and finished the game. <laughs> wow, this game is lasting longer than I thought on such a small map. Daniel has a lot of rocket squads. If he combines the rocket squads with these militant squads, he has quite... A good ground army then you could even push forward with your venom all right so Matthew's beaconing over there don't know why pitbull dies quickly venoms oh the venoms forced to go back nice move from vice sending the slingshots just in time Yep. Smart just to make a lot of slingshots. Now, we're gonna see now. It is the war of attrition. There's no more money on this map. Let's see who invested well. I tell you right now, a couple of specters, a couple of juggernauts would be your best investment. Because they will gain you ground. You can just push forward. Okay. Vice is here again. Predator tanks and APCs pushing forward. There it is, finally. He's got the real guns. This is good enough. This is good enough. Good force. So beacon coming down for Matthew. He's saying there is an army over here. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this. All these rocket squads from Daniel. He's finally sent them to his front line. Good move, but now he has to start healing up your obelisk of light. This is a good placement for the obelisk of light. Heal it, start healing it. There it is. The healing is there, but he might lose it. Very good, very, very good from Daniel. But where are your venom? He has to send his venom here now. He needs to send his Venom or else this entire front line is going to be gone. This is some good work. This is some good work from Daniel. You need to send your men back a little bit. There it is. His Venom is coming. It's just a little bit late. His Venom His Venom's late because now all his rocket squads are going to be killed. And he needs his rocket squad to fight this, this Predator army. There it is. But all the Slingshots are coming forward now. Ah, the Slingshots are coming forward and they're going to eat the Venom for breakfast. I give it a couple of seconds until all the Venoms are gone. Look, Slingshot's hunting all the Venoms. He's forcing them back. Oh, Daniel still had some... Had some rocket squads over there. Okay, that one heroic Venom over here from Matthew just being a pesk. Look, just pesky. <laughs> He's gonna still try to take down the Harvester. I think he'll do it. I think he'll do it. Oh, just keep going, keep going. Vice is already here now. Vice is taking out this front base. 
Use all of this. Use all of your rocket squads at once. There it is. What else do you have? Nothing. What is this? It's a carry-all. Oh, he's got the commando in here. He's got the commando in the carry-all. Ah, but he's not using it. Matthew, he's not using it. He forgot his commando. Oh, Daniel really needed Matthew over here to help him, at least with some base defense. Yeah, what Vice needs to do is he needs to just take the slingshots and just drive over. You drive over these men. Just squash them, see? Just squash them. It's the quickest way to kill them. Squash them. Support power is coming down for Vice. Daniel doing hard. Just, just doing his best with all these Venoms, but these Venoms, there's so much anti-air over here. He's gonna lose them all. They're dropping like flies to the slingshots. The slingshots don't even have tungsten. Nope. There he goes. And Daniel's air army is gone. I should have grouped all of the rocket squads together. Will he still have it? Start firing! Come on, start firing! Alright. Oh, he should attack this one. Just attack this one here. It's almost dead. Ah, uh, he should have sold that. Should have sold that. Who makes a redeemer? Matthew makes a redeemer. A rage gen so far away. Oh, he should have came forward and then did the rage gen. They're still holding off. They're still holding off. Because Vice doesn't realize he can just drive over these men. You just take your tanks, you click here, and you drive over all the men. <laughs> That's the fastest way to kill men. Just drive over the men. <clears throat> the Redeemer's here. Where's Jimmy? I haven't seen Jimmy in a while. Jimmy's got one chopper. So what you do is you just put an engineer in that chopper and at least you can do something over here. Yep. This one Redeemer is proving to be a good investment. It's killing units. Eating units for breakfast. Ooh, so Feist doesn't have a follow-up army. If this army falls, then there it is. Finally, the Juggernauts. Juggernauts are finally here. This, These things should have come out earlier. And Feist needs to target down this Redeemer. He needs to target down the Redeemer because the Redeemer is busy. And he needs to send his Predator tanks to go kill the Redeemer. Oh, what Daniel needs to do is come with these rocket squads. And hurry up and fire on these juggernauts because these juggernauts are your biggest threat. He needs to kill the juggernauts. Daniel, move forward and kill the juggernauts. Let me just watch this fight. This is the only fight that counts right now. Okay, Daniel's doing it. Daniel's doing it. Daniel's sending his rocket squads. There it is. He's focusing it on the juggernauts. Like I said. Shoot. Can he still take down? No, it's on half-life. The Redeemer. Ooh. It's on red life, the Redeemer. Let's just turn. Let's just turn it a little bit. This is the fight of the moment. Oh, the Redeemer. It looks like it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down. Oh, one more shot. And then the Redeemer dies. Matthew should have pulled the Redeemer back. Oh, there the Redeemer goes. Dies. But one Juggernaut also falls. They should just spam infantry right now. Spam infantry. Look at this, man. It's just... <laughs> this fight, this fight is crazy, man. This fight's like, I don't know, after all the big fights we've had with a lot of units, here we just see a couple units fighting. It's like the poverty mentality fight. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at this, now he's sending all these militant squads. Like, la, 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 fight! Oh, man. This is hilarious. They're sending everything they have. Just, <laughs> just give up now. <laughs> there, finally, Vice crushes him with the slick shot. There he is. There he is. You should have done that earlier. You should have done that earlier and killed the rocket squads that way. 
Okay, Jimmy's here with that one hammerhead. That's what I said. Just send the one hammerhead fighting. And like I said, if I sent these juggernauts earlier, we could have won the game a long time ago. And now... And now Jimmy... And now Matthew and Daniel just throw the towel in the ring. Just throw the towel in the ring. Oh man. Okay, there it is. There's a sell off. Please let that be the sell off. Oh, the, the onion cannon still throws. Yeah, he didn't throw it here because he couldn't see it. Feist throws the onion cannon. He still has time for an ion cannon. Incredible. Boom! Takes out. Oh, this thing still, still survives this refinery. I thought it would have been dead already. Okay, I think that's it. Jimmy really couldn't make any more choppers. Because there's just no money. There's no money on the map. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop the game here. It's gonna take forever <laughs> for them <laughs> to go kill this. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the game here. Was entertaining though. Let me just take a look at the stats real quick. Okay, Feist. Wow. A lot of units. We saw that in the beginning. Daniel making the most. Okay, Feist. Look at that. Look at that. The money graph. Money graph. Double the amount of cash for Vice. Played very well in this match. Had the ground army to push. Jimmy supported him from the top. But it looked like our Nod players, Matthew and Daniel, would make would maybe make a comeback with the with their venoms, but it wasn't to be for this match. Very entertaining. Well fought to all three gentlemen. And I thank you for watching Fayan CNC TV. And we'll see you next time.